welcome to a new video if you're new here my name is Sophia and this is an episode from my Jikoni you can find us on Instagram still my underscore Jikoni today we're making chapati let's get right into it don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to drop your comments down below and let me know your thoughts thank you very much for always supporting the channel by the way i really appreciate it if you watch my videos and you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe it will only take you a teeny bit of a second so yeah just subscribe people make chapatis in different ways and in my house chapatis are a must like every week we must have chapul yeah every week to see for you just feel like there's something missing and especially after such an intense week i think this is therapy for me i am looking forward to making them because i have such a special connection with chapatis let's start making the chapatis using all-purpose flour white but most of the times or i alternate occasionally if i make white the next time i'll make brown this is what i use i use ghee for chapatis this is specifically for chapatis but if you don't like how it smells you can use the kawaida cooking oil that you use or your preferred oil to make chapatis some people prefer solid some people prefer liquid maybe this is what i prefer and water so I'll try to give you measurements because I usually just eyeball. I know how much is enough for us. But today I'll, I'll, I'll eyeball, but also measure it for you. You can just use your ordinary cup to measure. Around 5 cups because I, I want around 10 to 15 chapatis. And then always leave some flour for dusting measure your salt according to how you love it one tablespoon okay so this first step you, you just do this you incorporate everything together like this once you do this you now start going in with the water one cup at a time you want to use water that won't burn you but it's warm enough we're now using our second cup but from here now add your water bit by bit as you mix because you don't want your dough to be too runny and you also don't want it to be too stiff you want it just about right You see, it doesn't stick anymore to your hand. That's when you know it's actually ready. Proceed to the next step. Or you can let this rest for around 10 minutes. Give it time to rest. Ensure that you cover it either with a damp cloth or just a nice lid here. Yeah. So I'm simply just dusting the entire surface. I'll show you like the fastest way to do this for today and then in a future video I will show you when you have time there are four ways you can actually make your chapati balls so for days that you you you're busy but not a many chapati let me show you how we do it just to ensure your surface is properly dusted I like working with a specific shape so it makes it easier and faster if you're using liquid oil you can just do this if you're using solid yeah you you should begin to melt it or even apply it like this if it's a warm season but if you're using ghee it really it's smooth almost like butter you know healthy stuff then you do this simple too you see like that it's like you're making cinnamon rolls <laughs> okay 
Okay, that's it. And then we start cutting. It's faster. So to get almost the same size, do this. It's a hack. See? Or you can also eyeball. It depends with what works for you. Now, just pinch the edges like this. Then do this. It's like that. To avoid the skin from forming a crust, lightly dust it. So that's it. Imagine. Then press. Then just lightly shape it. You see. To our next step, it's rolling. This is what I do. You dust it properly. Press it down lightly, like this. It gives me like a ground shape, you know. And then you want to apply the same amount of pressure throughout your rolling. And then the trick to always getting um, the perfect circle is to ensure that your surface is properly dusted. It's a no brainer actually. So some people love thin chapatis, other people love medium. <sighs> For me, I love thick chapatis. I think ukikulambili umeshiba. <laughs> if you want to know that your chapati, uh, you've rolled your chapati, in a level manner just run your hand around it you'll feel the thick spots if there are any as you do this ensure that your pan is currently heating if you've done it correctly your chapatis will start to puff up everywhere almost everywhere this is the stage where I do this While you're cooking, you always need to ensure that your chapatis are stored in, they are covered generally. So you can either use just a plate and a pan, or you can use these tortilla containers that you can get at curry for. This is what I usually use. So either use the packet, uh, the flour packet when it's empty. You can use kitchen towels just like this. store them it's quite nice we're done cooking or oh, making the chapatis i had done take one but unfortunately i did not turn on the camera but let me show you the layers in this chapati you see like layers on layers on layers like gosh goodness atasi jui you know and it's soft Yani, miujiza ilioje. You see, just layers. So, in future, I'll show you the various ways you can achieve this. Today, I just showed you method one. I'll show you method two, method three, and method four to achieve all these layers of chapati. This was a nice therapy session for me. And if you're new here, subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to just show your love. Let's grow the family. I'll see you guys in a future video. And if I look tired, it's because I haven't slept since yesterday 4 a.m. So, 
and rainy day too so i'm a pretty busy human being <laughs> see you guys in the next one be you don't forget to subscribe until then bye